Hi everyone, this is here, the Master Healer coming to you guys with a quick reading of the future of the Democratic Party heading up to the midterm elections. Um, I know some people are asking for this, but definitely I see Democrats in big trouble. I, I, I've been saying this over a year ago. Even when, 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 in, in back in 2020, I, I, I said that you guys could go back. I've been saying it monthly. Democrats is in trouble. They need every month, month I've been saying that. And I'm telling you straight up right now, um, I said it beginning of this year, I said it last year, I said it, whew, um, the Democrats have, have really went far all the way left and, and they pissed off a lot of the, um, the people that they need to, to help them win um, some of these major um, races um, when coming to the um, midterm elections. And I see because they went so far left, it really pissed off um, the suburbanites people that they need, especially um, especially some of these suburban um, females, you know. They need that female vote, you know. But I'm not seeing that is going to happen. People are just turned off. Then also, to the, um, I see the Democrat major base right now, especially black folks right now, are pissed off. Um, I'm not seeing black folks showing up for this midterm election. I already see the Democrats lost their house. I said that in January. I said I said that long time. They need to um, get things together. And I feel like some of the people on them who are advising President Biden, as I say, is, is a shame, you know, because a lot of people show up to vote. A lot of people have promised a lot of things. You see, even it, it, it was so much problem to even get fourteen hundred dollars or twelve hundred dollars how much money there was was planning to give people take them months to vote on that but it was able to take them a few hours to vote to send a couple billion dollars um in aid to ukraine and people here in america is hungry and i see because you could tell whoever it is that i know the people in ukraine need it but it's the timing of how everything have, have went down but we have to take care of our people here first people are hungry People are not just black people I'm talking about. It's just people. It have a lot of poor people. Um, people of all different shades of color in this country. It, people are hurting. I've been telling you guys to stock up on food and stuff. You hear the president say this week. Today's Friday, um, March 25th. You hear the president say this week that we're going to have a lot of food, uh, food, um, food shortages um, coming ahead. I've been talking that for the last two years. And many other spiritualists been been sounding the alarm for years. Um, we've been saying that. Now, a lot of things are coming up to roost. And I try to tell you guys out there, you cannot depend on no government. You're on your own. And especially for black people, we've been on your own all, all, all your life. Now nobody coming to save us. Now no save you in the sky. Nobody coming to save us. You gotta save yourself. You gotta save your family. You gotta depend on no government. This government ain't coming to save you. And, and, and whoever government, government before wasn't saving you. Now no, now no government to save you. You got to save yourself. You got to be out there to go get it. Nobody's not going to hand you anything. Nobody's not going to give you anything in life. You got to go take it. You, gotta, you have a skill. Use your skill. Turn it into a business. That's what we have to do. You, you're good at something. Just use that and market yourself and, and put yourself out there. I know I, I'm good at seeing things and pro, I, I, as a seer, as a healer. I know I have certain skills. I used to be hiding my skills. I used to be scared. I, I mean, I taught people that judge me and this and that and the other. Listen, when time comes, you got to step up. You know, you got to do what you got to do. I know I'm good at something. A lot of things I, I, I was doing in before in the past that I just didn't like to do. And I know I wasn't good at it, but I did it because it helped put food on the table. But I love doing this. This is who I am. So I embrace it, you know. And for you guys or who have a skill, don't be, don't be scared. Don't be shy, you know. It doesn't care what age you are. You know, you can be successful at any time. It's not too late, you know. So definitely for these Democrats, I say with Biden and a man, the biggest mistake. Also to with student loans, they need to forgive the, these young, these youths and them with these student loans. They keep giving them halfway student loan forgiveness and all these different things. So there's a lot of things that hurt any Democrats. A lot of people feel betrayed. You know, and I've been telling people that I, I always felt like like whoever advising Biden and them. Whoever been advising him, and he as a leader had to step up. Even I felt like he was leading from behind, even before the, the Ukraine war. I said that in my March blog, he got to step up and stop leading from behind. And I always felt like he was getting undermined, he wasn't getting different things. 
and this is just so much things that I, I see for this Democrat Party. Then you have the, the, the progressive, then you have this group, then you have that group. And I see blood for them in the House. You understand what I'm saying now? And in, in the House of Representatives, there's a rap. Then you see today, now you see the Hunter Biden now um, scandal. You see more things coming out leaking now. You could tell that um, liberal media now is turning on the Bidens and them right now. I, I told you guys from before that they, 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 they're, they're looking to run a fresh crew in 2024. Biden might want to run, but but the, but the people and the finances and them, you see how they're trying to, you see how they've been um, undermining um, Kamala Harris. I told you guys straight up. You know, I feel bad for um, for Kamala Harris. You know what I'm saying? And she's been put in a bad position. You know, and they always send her out there and have her looking crazy in the streets. And sometimes she looks like she's not prepared sometimes for certain things. And, and you see all our, all, all our staff is is resigning. You see the licking stuff. You see them a new book um, come out uh, about um, saying that Jill Biden. You see them a new book that coming out that was saying that Jill Biden didn't want it. Um, didn't want her husband to pick um, Kamala Harris and all these things. You understand what I'm saying? No? And uh, it is true. So many things in your book it is true. You know? So, so many things that, that what is saying in your book is true. You know? And um, and he can't blame the woman too. Him, himself, himself, that remember she came hard at the woman husband in the, um, in the primaries, you know? She, she really went hard. And the man, so it's obviously, I mean, if you love your husband or you love your wife, it's obviously you're going to feel some type of that person. But you just happen to pick them on your team because you know it will, it will help part of your base in order to get you elected. Now, now you see now you get elected. Now you see that she's not effective as how, you know she wasn't going to be effective at, at, at a certain point in time. But you see with Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, you could see, Certain things she's been on the mind also too. You see Biden team. I, I see that before. I see that. Um, I see that before many times. You know, I feel like it has some people on the mining Joe Biden. I have some people on the mining Kamala Harris. And the thing is about it is that I am telling you guys that they, they want to run a fresh team in 2024. As much as Biden might be saying he looking to um run in 2024, I am not seeing him running in 2024 and even if he's running he's not going to be effective to win because of a lot of blunders a lot of people are, are turned off and and the base is not going to show up in time i see the democrats would have to run a fresh team and even if god forbid if something happened to president biden kamala harris cannot win a general election she just cannot win because a lot of people do not like her she don't have um her likability it's not strong. That's what I'm seeing. I, I've said that um, even before. I see a fresh team. They're going to be running. And I, and I told you guys straight up. They want to get off. They, they, they want to. Um, they will blame her. Come midterm election. They, they're going to. They're going to blame her. You know. She could be the scapegoat. You see the world. They do stuff with her. They always set her up. They always have her looking at her stuff. And you can tell that. When you look at the things that are happening to her. And you see all her staff resigning. All that. All that things like that. She just been put in a bad position. I have nothing against um, Kamala, um, Vice President Kamala Harris, but I, I just telling you guys what I'm seeing. You know, I'm not beating up any woman. I just talking the truth. She is not electable. They're doing the same thing. I told you guys they're doing the same thing like what they do Hillary Clinton. You know, they demonize her, and um, every little blunder she made, um, it just looked bad. You know what I'm saying? You see when she was out in Europe. She was smiling when she was asking certain questions, you know, and people dying in a war. And she she was smiling. So it wasn't look it wasn't a good look for her. So a lot of times you see when she when she grew up, and a lot of these people are not gonna respect her. And I don't see America having a woman president just yet. A lot of people keep saying no, it's, it's not gonna happen just yet. You know, and and Kamala Harris just she don't people even black folks don't like her so that's the problem a lot of people don't like her i don't know why um it's for all different reasons uh, but uh, as i say you know i i said this many times before i prefer she was staying in the senate i never wanted her to be vice president never and i have all the videos i have all the tapes i could still um, bring it up and i never wanted her the woman that i said said that i saw and you guys could go back on my blog i saw the, um miss cortez the senator cortez from um las vegas 
she I wanted Biden was to pick as the vice president. Um, that's who, who I had saw. But you could tell um, Congressman Clyburn is the one of them that, and, and some of these people and them, maybe the Obamas and all of them, maybe they wanted, you know, they say that they need to have um, a black um, female, you know, as the, as the vice president. You know, it's a good look, and I mean, I appreciate um, that. But I don't see a black person winning a next election in this country in, in a long time. It's not, it's not going to happen. People is not going to, they're not going to, you're not going to see an ex-Obama. I, 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 not in my lifetime, and it might happen in somebody else's lifetime. But that is not going to happen again in, in a while. That was a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity it happened. And I don't see it happening again. You know what I'm saying? It's just not going to happen. And, and, and I stand by that, and I say that. Um, and I told you guys about C.C. Abrams. I just did a video about C.C. Abrams. I tell you guys straight up. It's not gonna happen. Right? When, when come to, the Democrats mess up, they blow, they blow the chances. They need, they need pass a voting rights bill. The John Lovett, that that should have been the first thing they pass, if they was really serious. You know, so right now Democrats looking at it as a joke. And he, I talk about the border. You see the time when the Haitians and them was coming across the border and see how they try to demonize um, uh, my Haitian people. Trying to make them look all crazy, and then within 48 hours, boom, you see, you know, they clean up the whole place and all that stuff. And then you see the, the, the shut down everything. Now we see the put in, now we see now this summer, now people are going to be coming at the border. The media are going to be showing that. Democrats need to get it together, and it's too late. They done lost the House right now. They had a chance if they could save the Senate. I wish them all the best, and I mean, it could be a tough climb for them, but they could. But People are turned off right now. Then you give 13 point something billion or 14 billion to um, the Ukraine people and people here hungry. People here um, need stuff in the food kitchen. So a lot of things um, I see going against them. And some of the big races and them, they're going to get blocked. You know, Stacey Abrams, she already done lost that governorship. She just didn't know it yet. I'm sorry. You don't have enough people to, um, to, to, to cross over. And people, people in the South is going to stay on code. They're not going to vote for Stacey Abrams. You know? They're gonna stay on code with that. So Governor Kemp could still he could do all kind of stuff. She still she still a lot of people the timing is just bad for her. I said that many times. You know? And she need proper security and, and, and with her race, she could hurt um Raphael, Senator Raphael Warnock race also too. You're not gonna put her, especially after the see with um with Keisha Lance bottom out, she 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 messed up certain things down there with, with Atlanta, you see with the crime girl to hand, she lost the police force. Come on. You know, so I don't see her winning that race. Then, then I, I talk about um, Congresswoman Val Demen. She cannot beat um, Senator Mark Rubio. You know what I'm saying? No, she it up. She already lost that that, that Senate race. I see it already. Clear as day. Beto O'Rourke uh, for governor of Texas. He already lost that race already too. You know, so a lot of people is not going to show up, um, and they're pissed off. And then we have crime all over these cities right now. I told you all the Republicans going to do, they're going to run a law and order campaign. I said that early January, that you watch out for the um, Republicans running a law and order campaign. And that's it. It's a wrap. You know? So Democrats have, they have to regroup. They need a whole, and I see it for 2024. I, I'm seeing a whole fresh Democrat team. Biden might think he might be running for re-election, but I'm not seeing that happening right now. And Kamala Harris cannot win a general election, you know. So these are other things I see have going going going, um, going against them. And people are turned off. They're disappointed badly on the streets. They're disappointed in this administration. You know, a lot of blunders. And and people are turned off. People need the um people need certain things, and they, they feel like they're not getting that. And then you see. I'll talk about food shortages. You see the man, President Biden, said this, this week that um, food, food, food shortages, I've been telling you guys to stock up. You guys sit on waiting. A lot of you guys like to sit on and wait for things to happen. No. This is why I created this channel for to prevent, to give you guys a heads up so you guys can understand. Start stocking up. You know what I mean? Some of you guys might be too late. All right? I told you guys already, get your battery pack, get your generators. Who could afford it? You know, get your cash. 
you don't need to have six months a year money hide away somewhere where you could reach to that can eat gucci prada and, and all these different easy and all these different things you guys getting getting things um twisted that's where you gotta get white folks one thing with them white folks in texas and down south and all them too them dudes always have the guns they're always prepared they have the different um generators when a crisis come that the tents that all kind of them dudes always listen them people always be ready we some of us we need to be ready like them so when a crisis come you can't depend on government you need to have if you're in an apartment make sure and have at least 10 to 20 cases of water stuck up all these things things that you guys taking for granted now are telling you some of you guys are telling you it, it, it'll, it'll get crazy and yeah, that's the way we have to live you have to live in a survival mentality moving forward and that is the way we need to go but these democrats right now are toast i see the house lost stacy abrams lost Val Demings lost a race already. Beto O'Rourke already lost his race. And I gotta and I, I will follow up on some other races right now. Biden, um, I see more scandal um coming out with Biden. I see um the, the liberal media will turn on him. And I see the one to get rid of, of um of him and Kamala Harris. That's what I'm seeing, and that's what I have to read. I see his team are wrong him. He needs to get rid of certain people. A lot of mistakes has made, a lot of blunders. I've been seeing that. Um and I'm making no excuse for um for this administration. Um, I am all dis disappointed. I am all voted for them. I said I'm independent. I voted. I vote Republican. I vote Democrat. And I say I am all disappointed. But I'm not putting my opinion into this reading. I'm just telling you guys. I've been consistent. You guys been watching me every month. I say that in my March um thing. And you have to pray that President Zelensky um is protected because he ain't harm to that man. Biden is going to get blamed. Not NATO. Biden is going to get blamed. If any harm to President Zelensky. So you have to make sure you have to make sure that man is very well protected. That's all I'll say. Um when coming to the war, things will work itself out. You guys need to stop studying about Ukraine and all them stuff. You guys need to study. We we fighting wars here for years. We have South China, Chicago, Atlanta, New York, Philly. Um, crime is all over the place. We have your own war here. Stop studying. Some people be asking, waiting for Ukraine. No, that is not your business. You need to just pray for them. You want to donate something to the people of Ukraine? So be it. But we have your own battles here to fight. All right? They go, they go figure that out. And I'm everybody asking me, World War Three. I said, no. I said, listen, they go figure everything out. Don't study that. We study the wrong things. You understand what I'm saying? No? Study yourself. Study, study your family. That's where you need to study. Study a group. You know, your church, you know, give back, help out. That's where we need to focus on. That will sort, that war in Ukraine will sort itself out. Okay? As I told everybody that. These, these, these people and them, the minute they start losing their money, they're going to get it together. They're going to regroup. They're going to figure things out. Everything's going to figure itself out. I have a lot of things I don't want to say. I'll leave it at that. I told you guys, everybody saying World War III, no. I say, I don't see no World War III. We're going to get close to that. Uh, things could get out of hand, but I don't want to say certain things. You understand what I'm saying? Because I don't want to put my life in danger, and I'm not trying to put certain things out there. You understand? I'll leave it at that. But um, but things will get better, but you guys have to stay alert, um, stuck up, watch out, as I say. I mean, I'll talk about cyber attacks. I, I told you guys in my March blog, watch out for cyber attacks. And I mean, I'm not going to tell you the time and day it will happen at some point in time. You guys have to be ready, be alert. All right, so peace, love, and blessings. And the Democrats are toast. They lost the House already. They have to try and see if they can save the Senate. And um, they will try their best. They will try, I see that they will try to give you guys a lot of different things and stuff. You see that with the gas cards and stuff. They'll be giving you guys um, tax break with the gas and all that stuff. All this money with the gas and, and this war and all that stuff. This is all for them corporations and to make a lot of money off of people. Um, Biden need to be a little more stronger. And um, some of these sanctions, and then they're going to work around these sanctions. You see already some of these oligarchs done heading to Dubai. I talk about that. You see them heading to Dubai and all these different They're going to get around all these things. These men and them, these, these billionaires and them, they have money, they have the resources. They can manipulate a lot of things. So some of these sanctions might not really hurt them directly yet. Some of them will get hurt, but personally, some of them already been prepared for some of these things um, when it was going to happen. Um, that is not our business. We need to focus on what's going on here. We need to bring back, um, but the government need to bring back stuff to made in America because with China and all these things, right now with COVID spreading, if they shut down these factories and then we're going to have more shortages. You see that wheat shortages around um, the world right now. Um, 
you, you have fertilizer shortages all these things so we're going to come up with a lot of shortages so if you guys don't start stocking up your stuff from now i'm sorry for you guys all right get your medicine get everything i'm tired talk to you guys and other spiritualists tired mention it to you guys so i've been saying it for the last two years other spirituals before me been saying it for years before so prepare prepare yourself guys so peace love and blessings and um that's it for the democrat party that's it for this year they toast and um 2024 i'm not seeing um biden and Kamala Harris. I seen something is gonna happen. Kamala Harris. I see I'm telling you guys I understand that they want to dump Kamala Harris because they not seen her effective enough. And that's why they've been always leaking stuff on her and trying to um make her look more crazy in the streets. I feel bad for her. But I say from day one, I never like it as vice president. She wanted it. I know that is a liberal wanted power, wanted, wanted it more than anything else. But sometimes not everything is for you. And she should have taken advice from certain people. And who tell her she up stay in the Senate. And I think the best thing for her, she should stay in the Senate. But right now, her, her vice presidency right now is a total flop right now. And that's what I'm seeing spiritually. I never really wanted her, whatever it is, but you know, but um she can't win a general election. I'm sorry. She just cannot um her negatives are too low. A lot of people don't like her. Um and, and the people that she need to like her, if she's trying to run an election, she cannot be effective, you know. So that's a boss right now. And I blame the administration also too because I feel like they leave the hang out to dry. You understand what I'm saying? No? So you will see stuff on Hunter Biden too. You see Hunter's um Biden stuff leaking, a bunch of stuff coming out, more stuff could be coming out. The Republicans could be investigating all that. They will be beating that stuff like Benghazi. Hunter Biden could be again midterm election like Benghazi. I see other stuff could be coming out. Um some of the liberal media might turn and Biden, even I realize the Democrats will be losing the House, and if they know they're gonna lose the Senate. If they realize, you guys pay attention, come September, and you guys look around, and look at the polls, and if the, the election looking like they're going to get a blowout in the Senate also. Right now, the Senate, could, um, Democrats could pull it off. They could pull it off if they really want to. I just, I just tell you straight right now, they need to let the, the, the House already lost, take a blowout. Um, they're going to get a shellacking. It, it already uh, predicted that over since last year. That is, that is a wrap. The Senate, they might be able to hold it, but they will have to put all the resources into the, the, all the Senate seats in order to hold strong, um, definitely this midterm election. But if you see come September, the Democrats Senate looking like they're gonna get, they're gonna lose a couple of Senate seats, watch the, for the media to turn on Biden, and they already done turn on Kamala, on Kamala Harris. Watch they go turn on Biden to get rid of him. Um, make sure that that you do not run for 2024. I'm telling you guys, pay attention. A lot of mistakes has made, and the people are wrong him. I've been saying that they need to fire certain people. They have Biden looking weak. They, uh, a lot of mistakes, blunders he be making. You see, he makes some blunders already. Um, mistakes already um, in, in Europe, in in NATO, in Poland. So let's pray for um, for President Biden. Hope he wears masks. Hope that um, he stay healthy. Um, things like that. But I don't like the team around him. He need to, to clean house, get a whole fresh team, bring out the big guns, and he might be able to um to save the Senate. But the house already gone. It's a wrap. People, people fed up. People tired. People disappointed. And and his base is not going to show up. I don't think the Democrats have a base right now. Uh, that's what I'm seeing right now. I'm not seeing a base. So peace, love, and blessings. You guys will hear more from me soon. Bye. I hope this makes sense. Right. And thank you for the new subscribers. Don't forget to get your prayers on Facebook, the Spiritual Fixer, Spiritual Fixer 1. Don't forget to get your prayers, all right, daily, all right? I always spend my money and put my prayers up. I believe in prayer, okay? You'll hear more from me soon. Bye.